Hi kids, my name is Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you're here to create with us because we're going to be doing some drawing and watercolor yes. to do. <laughs> I hope they can hear that. I think that's fish. <laughs> fish make that sound. We're doing a school of fish. Yes, the water. <laughs> so we are going to be drawing today. So grab a blank piece of paper, grab some watercolor paper, because this part's watercolor and this part is the magical markers. Ooh. So these are called switcheroo markers and they're called that because they switch colors on you. So they're red on one side or a color on one side. And then when we use the other side, they're going to change colors. So I'll show you the magic trick. So grab that. And then because fish live in the water, we're going to do some blue background. So if you have blue watercolor, you can do that. Now, if you don't have watercolor, you can also, I just thought about this, you can color in the background. So don't worry if you don't have watercolor, but if you do grab that, grab a paintbrush because we like to use that with our watercolor and then some water. Mm. Don't forget a pencil because we're going to be drawing. So the first step is let's do our motto. So if you can sit up, raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. Let's do it. Boom. <laughs> and I don't know if you know what the word creative is. So if this is your first time hearing it, creative is a reminder that you are an artist and you have this brain inside of you that you can use your imagination. So that is what we're going to do today because there are so many different types of fish. So you can make them up if you want. If you want to go to maybe a computer or ask a grown up, say, hey, can you show me some pictures of fish? You can do that as well. But we have a few that we're gonna start with just to show you some basic shapes on drawing. So grab your pencil and anywhere on your paper, I want you to draw a shape. So the first shape we're gonna do is we're gonna do kind of this one. So what it is are two oval shapes, or it's, it's an oval, but anywhere on your paper, let's see, I'll do it in the middle. So I want you to draw either a hill or a hump or whatever you wanna call that, draw a curve. And then I want you to do the opposite. So it's kind of like a smiley face mm -hmm. and connect it. So it looks like I see so many different things. UFO. I see a UFO. I Squished see. lemon. <laughs> Keep going. What else? Football. Yes. Eyeball. Yes. A leaf. leaf. Yeah. So many different things, which is so fun to use your imagination. But this is the shape and body of our fish. Now the tail. There's any types of shit tails that you can do, but a simple one is I'm gonna go from here and I'm gonna draw a line up. So I'm gonna draw basically a triangle. So a line up mm. and then a diagonal line down, and then I'm gonna connect it. So your tail may be taller, it may be wider, but if you draw a triangle shape, that will help. And then on top, maybe you draw some fins. So maybe on top, I'm gonna come up and maybe draw a fin across like that. Some fins are smaller, so they're more just like a shape like that. Or maybe there's both and they connect like that. So again, yours are going to look so different because there's so many here that we're doing. Now, here's another one. I want to show you how to draw this one if you want to do something similar. This shape actually reminds me of Dory from Binding Nemo. Oh, totally. Right? Speed. Speed? Built for speed. <laughs> yeah, because they're skinnier. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> so to, if you want to do one that looks like that, is I want you to draw actually a triangle as well. So I'm going to draw a triangle. So draw a line diagonal and then a line diagonal here. And then when I connect it, I'm going to do kind of a curve instead of just a straight line. Kind of a curve like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the tail, but I wanna show you is if I just draw my triangle smaller or shorter, that's what it would look like. Oh, wow. So do you see how we're doing the same basic shapes, but if you change either the size of them or the angle, they'll create a completely different fish. Cool. So maybe this one has another tail this like that. This is actually that. called a pizza fish. Is this, that's what, <laughs> <laughs> tries to trick us sometimes. And maybe if you want to even add, if it has a pointed nose to our pizza fish, 
you can do that as well. And if you are doing it with a pencil, remember you can always erase if you want. Now, I want you to kind of have fun. So in the spaces, maybe do more of a curved ones, is draw a few more fish. Maybe these ones have longer fins. You can also draw a school of fish. So maybe all of them, because they when you see a school of fish, I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it's super cool. I feel like they tend to be smaller, what I think of. Small fish? Mm -hmm. They are small fish. And then they're in a pack, so they all kind of look similar, and they're going in a similar direction. Oh, I just keep thinking of Finding Nemo. Because remember that when they were getting the net? Yes. So dress. And the other ones that did the arrows, and they were talking to them about oh, yeah. <laughs> directions. Yeah, I want to draw one like this where it's a skinny one. So again, we're doing the same basic shape, but I'm doing a really skinny one. And then, yeah, maybe a fun with the fins. These remind me of fish from, like that are in a, a fish tank where they have all those cool different fins and that are different colors. So I think I'm good with that. So if you wanna draw more, you can, but I'm gonna stick with that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our cool new markers. And remember when I said you are creative, you are going to use any colors that you want. So you don't have to use the same exact ones that I am using. But what you're gonna do is the first step is I want you to Pick any color you want, and you're going to color it in. So we're not gonna start with the pattern yet. I want you to start with the whole thing, color it in. You can also, if you wanna do two different colors, you can do that, but we're coloring it in, and you'll notice that, I, that this marker has a chisel tip, that's what it's called. So if you want to get, fill a big area, it may help to use the flat part to fill that all in. So color that, maybe I'll switch up the color and do this a different one. So color it in first and then we'll show you the magic trick. Are you looking up some different fishes? Yeah, there's a lot actually. Yeah? Small and big and there are cool pictures online. Cool. So one of the types that I recognize is snapper and tuna. Oh, and marlin. Because <laughs> that's sometimes the fish we eat. Yeah. And they travel in groups, not just because they love company, but because the, the phrase they use is, where is it? How do they say it? It's really great. Strength in numbers. Cool. Yeah. I like that. So the more people we get to paint with us, yeah. the that's better the we are. <laughs> So what I want to show you is now what we're going to do is so on your marker you have the color side and you have the white side. So go and open the white side and what you're going to do is here's the magic trick. So you're going to draw either a stripe or any pattern that you want. Look at that. Whoa. It changes colors. So if yours has stripes or if you want to draw some of their texture so the gills on there on them or if they have some different scales and then maybe draw an eye so a circle and a dot maybe they have some dots on them so you're coloring on top of the color and it changes colors now if i were to go to the fin it's going to be a different color oh it's kind of a similar green yeah it is or that like highlighter so that's what the blue changes into. Let's see, what does the purple change into? Whoa, pink. So you're just gonna make your fish and decorate it. Maybe there's a smile. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep changing different colors. Let's see what happens if I do orange. And you're gonna keep coloring in your fish. OK, 
Okay, so we added color and some patterns to our fish. I hope you had fun doing that. Now I want to show you is if you have tape, I would grab that out and we're gonna tape the edges because we're gonna paint the whole background. Now, if you don't have tape, you can still do this along with me. Maybe just grab something that you can paint on top of just in case your table can't get paint on it. Cause we need to be kind to our surroundings and our tools. So I'm just gonna grab some tape and then we're gonna do the background. So when you are doing watercolors, we're switching. So we're done with our markers. Make sure all the caps are on them so that they stay nice. And I want you to squeeze out your watercolors. Grab your paintbrush and your cup of water. And then we're just gonna paint. So dip in your water, pick up your color, and then paint. And when you get close to your fish, you can just paint around them. If you paint over it, that's okay. They'll kind of look like they kind of blend into the water. But it may help if you're doing a really tiny area. If you hold up the paintbrush a little bit higher, do you see how I'm able to get a thinner line? Oh, wow. Rather than like this. So that may help you. But all the different lines kind of look cool because then it looks like your fish is really moving in the yeah, ocean. Yeah, it gives a movement and life. Yeah, so it's okay if you even have some white spaces. But also, speaking of movement. Yeah, I was gonna say, do you have some other fun facts for us? All I was gonna say is scales help fish to swim. Oh, why? That makes sense if they're built all like that. That's cool. I would love to answer the why. <laughs> I didn't know that, but that makes sense. They are often slimy, which helps them glide through water more easily. Oh. I know. Most fish don't have eyelids too. Wow. So just, just how many species there are, roughly. I have, I, I feel like it is, I would think that fish are the animal that have the most species because there are so many different kinds. But tell me, tell there us. There are over 30,000. 30,000? 30,000. That's a very big number. Yeah. So I painted the whole background. So when you were done with yours, I want you to look at what you created because it is so unique and so cool. And even if I just look at the watercolors, do you see all the different blooms yeah. that's happening? And it really looks like there's movement in the ocean. So there's so much beauty. And this project is from our box that's called Patterns in Nature. And I thought of how nature is just so beautiful and there's so many different things. So maybe next time you go outside or even if it's, I don't know if it's cold right now for you, you look mm. outside and just look at the different things. Do you see different patterns? What colors do you see? And that will help ignite that imagination and creativity that we said in the beginning. So this was really, really awesome to paint and color along with you. So thank you for joining me. We have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects and an Instagram called Let's Make Art Kids. We want to see what you create. We want, we want to see your school of fish. So please share with us. And then always remember that you are brave, kind, and so creative. And we will see you next time. Bye.